I want to let you know that the long-awaited Purple Posy ink pads and refills are now ready and free of the problems that uh, we encountered when they were first released in June. So if you need to get the Purple Posy Stampin' Pad or the Purple Posy refill, let me know. All the kinks have been worked out and um, I've got my uh, new pad on the way, so I'm excited about that. I will also let you know that this morning I ordered my new Stampin' Trimmer from Stampin' Up. I'm super excited to get that. Um, I love the old one, but I like some of the new features on the new one. And uh, the new one is actually $5 less than our previous Stampin' Trimmer. This one will retail for $25. Um, and I also, also ordered a pack of the refill blades for the new trimmer. And what I love about those, those are the same price point, but they, are, they come in packages of four replacement blades for $12 rather than two for six. So I like that um, as well. So I can't wait till I get that and I'll certainly be um, demonstrating and using that with all of you when I get it. So um, those are my two announcements for today. Um, today, I wanna say Happy New Year because today is the very first day of the new Stampin' Up! year. Our fiscal Stampin' Up! fiscal year goes from um, October 1st through September 30th. So um, I like the way a lot of my um, numbers came out in the previous year that ended yesterday. I feel like I've had a, a pretty strong year, um, especially with moving to a new city and taking on a visiting angels job. And, um, and I even saw some increases in a couple of the areas um, of my business. So I'm excited about that and even more excited about the new year. Um, and hoping to grow in all areas of my business. And I certainly hope that um, I'll, one aspect of that is to grow my team. And um, there's a lot of exciting things to happen. So if you are at all interested in the um, Stampin' Up! opportunity, whether it be to get a discount on wonderful products or to um, use that opportunity to in, um, engage with other stampers and paper crafters on a regular basis, or if you want to build a business. I'm happy to work with all of you. So please keep that in mind. Um, it's the beginning of a brand new year, the beginning of a brand new quarter, so it's an awesome time to join. And I will say too, because we're at the very beginning of a quarter, your first quarterly minimum of $300 in sales um, takes place in your first full quarter. So here, we've already had one year into the current, or I'm sorry, one day into the current quarter. So anybody who earns, whether it be right now or in the month of October, you have all the way till the end of March because January, February, March would be your first full quarter. Um, so you have nearly six months to make that first quarterly minimum, which takes you through the holidays and right into celebration next year. Um, so lots of great opportunities. I would love to have each and every one of you be a part of my team. And I see a couple people on here, actually Joyce, Pat, Mary Lou, I'm um, trying to see, is there anybody else? For my team that's on here. Okay, let's get started. Last week was crazy busy. Um, I went to St. Leon, Indiana uh, last Wednesday and um, attended the celebration of life for um, my friend and Stampin' Up! team member Sue Bada and um, I was very happy I went. It was a little bit hard for me, but I, I was very happy I went. I got to meet her family for the first time and see some other 
uh, crafting friends that I had not seen in a very long time. And it was um, truly a wonderful celebration of Sue's life. And then from there, I had a team meeting later that evening and um, got to see my Emily for just a wee bit and stamp classes the next day. So I'm going to start out first of all by showing you some swap cards from our team meeting last Wednesday evening. And um, this is something we try to do every time we get together and we usually have some kind of theme. This time our swaps were um, to use uh, anything from the holiday catalog. So this was mine a few weeks ago in a uh, Facebook Live. I showed you um, we made some Christmas wreath cards and this uses that same stamp set and I made a fall card with it. Okay. Joan Horner, it was good to see you too last week. I hate that those were the circumstances that brought us together, but um, it was really, really good to spend time with you, and I hope we can do that again without letting too much time pass. Carol, I'm happy to hear you've ordered your uh, ink pads and refills. Awesome. This was made by Tracy Dolling using the Monster Bash um, suite. Very popular. Hi, Tammy. This was made by, let me think, Debbie Price. Okay, love that truck. So cute. Okay, and what a fun color combination for the holidays, pool party and real red. This was made by, I have to think for a second, I believe Peggy Becker. Okay, and I don't know if you can see this, but there's a subtle background of the birch tree trunks in the back. And this is made with the Nature's Beauty stamp set. And I will be doing a class and class to go with this uh, stamp set in the near future. But I just, I love the simplicity of this card. This was made by Paula Matre. And yes, she did tear away part of the card front there, that piece of paper, um, and has some of the plaid behind it. I love too. I mean, I, I love all my swap cards always, but I love it especially when I get samples um, using stamp sets and other products that I don't own. And this stamp set is one of them. Okay, blessed Christmas wishes. This one, um, this card just amazes me. And this was made by Cecilia Bostico. Okay. And it's kind of a variation on the Z Fold card, okay? And I don't know how well you can see this, but if you stand it up on a table or mantle or something, you actually, it actually appears to be a scene, just as if you would set out your nativity or something like that. But it's just um, really, really beautifully done, and she used Stampin' Blends to do her coloring. But I just thought it was a fun, neat fun version of the Z Fold card. Okay. Then we have Merry Christmas. And this was made by, I have to thank Beth Jones. And I'll let you know that Beth actually made this designer series paper that she punched the moose from. Okay. She used the um, Buffalo Check stamp and then she used a ruler and markers to add the red and green to that plaid. Okay, so fun. And then this was made by, uh, let me think, Kiki Niklos. And I'm so grateful to her for hosting the team meeting last week. But she has a lot of different elements on here. Okay, first of all, this is the main card. And she's got a sheet of acetate or window sheet here, okay? And then all of these bells were cut out um, using the die set. And I asked her what kind of adhesive she used to adhere these to the acetate. And what she told me was, or told our group, I should say, not just me, um, she used the Tombow glue, just kind of put some out, made a little puddle of Tombow glue, picked a little bit up with a sponge, 
And then she sponged the back of the die cut pieces and set them on the um, acetate or the window sheet. So I, I love that um, and I learned something new. Okay, the other thing was she said if she were to write a message in here, well then she would be seeing the message th behind the bells there. And so what she decided to do was she gave everybody this piece of cardstock and it she does have it scored. So it's five and a quarter by four and she scored it at three quarters of an inch. So what she said, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put mine on because I like her idea of being able to hide your message so they don't come through as if they're on the bells. And then she said she would just write her message like that. Okay. Hi, Debbie. And Debbie, I just have to ask you, are you the Debbie Powers that went to St. Brendan School in North Olmsted, Ohio? I saw your name come up earlier. Um, and that's the first thing I thought of. So I'm not sure if it's you or not from grade school. And then this card was made by... Uh, trying to think. I can't think who else was there. Marion Henrik, I believe. Debbie, good. Debbie and I went to grade school together. Um, we were in Girl Scouts together. Debbie, how wonderful. Thank you for joining me tonight. This is exciting. Okay, and this card was made by my team member, Marion Henrik, and I love how she used all the different penguins around it with her sentiment. Um, in front. And honestly, whenever I think of penguins, I'm thinking black and white. And she actually used Knight of Navy. So that was a nice little variation. And that kind of leads me into what we're going to be doing tonight. Um, I believe it was two weeks ago, I did a Facebook Live with the Playful Penguin set. I told you that I was using this swap card from another demonstrator as my inspiration. And then I went ahead and made these couple of cards. And I love how you can just cut out like the scarf and the um, hat or the, uh, the bow ties there and pop them up on dimensionals, okay? I showed you a little trick for making this shape of a label. And then I went on to show you how you can have um, basically the same set of materials and change up your layout um, and your embellishing to step up your cards. So I had three card bases, same size, three different pieces of the uh, perfectly plaid or wrapped in plaid designer series paper, all cut to five and a quarter by four inches. And then I had whisper white and gold foil sheets all cut to the same size for all three cards. And you can see how I just did a little bit different layout on each of those cards. And then I did some embellishing as I went on and built from my simple basic card. Okay. And I want to show you those. Number one, if you weren't watching that week, you'll want to go back and see that. Um, and then number two, because once again, tonight I'm going to be using the Playful Penguins as the featured stamp set. Okay, plus I'm going to introduce you to another new product, and that is the Mercury Glass Designer Acetate. Okay, and in this package, this is something we've never had at Stampin' Up! before, at least not in my 11 years that I've been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. But in this package, you will receive four sheets of the designer acetate. Um, the first sheet looks like this, okay? And then you'll also receive two sheets that have this pattern, okay? So I'm going to be working with a couple of these tonight to design some cards. And when I looked at this one, I hope you can see these okay. They're showing up on my screen pretty well, so hopefully they are on yours as well. Um, when I looked at this one, I kind of thought, oh, it kind of looks like 
um, like ice breaking up in the water, the ocean or something. So I thought, aha, this is what I'll make tonight with you. Okay. So I'm going to, let me think for a second, cut this at four and a quarter inches. Oops. Oh, that cuts so easily. I thought it didn't cut, but it did. <laughs> okay, five, four and a quarter inches by 11. Okay, so I'm making it standard. Um, what do I want to say? Standard card size. And then I'm going to score it at five and a half on the long side. Okay, so I'm en ending up with, and it does take a little bit to fold and score it, okay? Just because it is it is a thick acetate. I'm gonna grab my bone folder here, okay? So because of the thickness of the acetate, you're not gonna get a real, real fine um, crease like you do on the cardstock, but it's still uh, well enough that obviously it's gonna fold for you, okay? I see Sandy has joined us and Karen. Oh, this is exciting. Thanks, ladies. Okay. And since I am using penguins again, I decided I would use the Seaside Spray, which is one of our newest in colors. I've got some scraps here that I'll use up. Okay. And on this first one, what I'm going to do is, let's see, my card front is five and a half by four and a quarter, and I want to cut it down, but I want um, to cut it down so that I have the same spacing on all sides. So I want to do it incrementally. So I'm going to go to, let's say, let's try three inches by four and a quarter. Okay. And I've got that. Actually, I think I'm going to go down a little bit more. I'm going to do two and three quarters by four. I think this will be more the size I'm looking for. Yes. Okay. And I'm going to cut a white piece the same size. So again, that's two and three quarters. by four inches. And the reason I'm doing this is I wanna put this on the inside so I have a place to write, okay? Karen, all the way from Arizona, thanks for watching. Debbie, um, I wanna say Debbie Powers, but I see it's Debbie Lang. Where are you living now? I have to put this on the blue so I can see better. But I'm just going to space this evenly on the inside so that it's centered. I think most of you I see watching tonight are from Ohio. Joan Horner lives in Sunman, Indiana. Okay. Pam Simmons is from North Carolina. Okay. And then this piece, I want to put, you know what, maybe you can see it better if I lay this on my Stampin' Pierce mat. But on this piece, I really, I'm centering it, but I just want to make sure that I'm going over, I'm laying it on top of the white piece that's in the center. Does that make, sure, make sense to you? Okay. Pam, thank you for sharing. Yes, if anybody else would be so kind as to share, I'd appreciate it very, very, very much. That's how I get um, more people watching and following and um, purchasing or joining my team, and I, I really am so grateful for that. Okay, so now I'm going to stamp this little friendly penguin. Now, you'll want to remember that, Joyce, thank you for sharing. Um, you'll want to remember that this set does not have any die cuts for you to cut the penguins out. 
but it's easy. Okay, this is super easy cutting. So don't let that um, put you off. You saw all the cards I made um, a couple weeks ago on my Facebook Live, fun and easy, okay? And you can leave your penguin, just black and white or whichever other color I think you choose to use. Or you might want to color the, um, the penguin's beak and feet if you like. You can dress him up with a hat or scarf, a bow tie if he's going someplace formal. Has anybody, um, it, I should ask first, are you making your own Christmas cards this year? And if so, have you started them? I used to make, design a Christmas card that I used only to send out to people on my Christmas card list and I would make oh, about a hundred or so um, but then after several years of doing Stampin' Up! classes, I had loads and loads and loads and loads of Christmas cards after several years. For, so I had a couple car years that I was using up those cards. Um, this year I'll probably be designing or choosing one of the designs I've used for a Facebook Live or class and make several of those. I don't send quite as many as I used to, but I still do enjoy sending them, and people appreciate getting them. Joyce Letterby, you haven't started? Oh my gosh, I'm so surprised. Family and very close friends, I understand that too. Okay. Um, I should have stamped this before I put it down, but that's okay. Now, here's a thought. If you really can't get your cards done um, for Christmas, you can always send, I'm deciding if I want it up or down. You can always send New Year's cards, right? Okay, not bad for being under a little pressure there. And I think I actually want to add another um, penguin to this card. What do you think? Do you feel like it's going to need another penguin? Or should I stop there? Oh, Tammy, it does not surprise me that you've already started yours. Joan Horner, it doesn't surprise me that you've started yours also. Okay, I'm going to give this guy a little red scarf, I think. I'm going to use, use cherry cobbler. And I'm actually going to stamp off and then stamp again. Which one do you like better? Stamped full strength or half off or stamped off? And who is that? Pat says, yes, definitely another penguin. Okay, you got it, ladies. I have to say it's so... Um, what do I want to say? Refreshing, motivating when um, you all are participating along with me. I really, really enjoy that and I'm so grateful. I don't know if I can make this guy fit on that piece of paper, so let me grab another one. Well, as they're falling out all over the place here. There we go. Okay, I'll let that dry. Why don't I just cut out both of the scarves because one's darker and one's lighter. Okay. Okay. Um, and I'm going to show you, we're gonna finish up this card really quickly and then I'm going to show you an easy alternate to this card 
And then I've got a super fun um, and very quick 3D item to show you. Okay, so there's one scarf. Cut this little guy out. Um, what stamp sets or products, Stampin' Up! products, are you using to make your Christmas cards? Anybody want to share? I haven't decided what I'm, what I'm making or what I'm using. I'm just having so much fun playing with all the different ones I have and that I've purchased to use in my business. I'm really, really excited about um, the make and take packets I have for um, the 40 some people um, that are attending my October Creative Escape weekend. Not this coming weekend, but the weekend of October 11th. And uh, either during that weekend or the following week, I will share those projects with all of you as well because I'm I'm just really excited about them and I've really enjoyed designing them and making them and I'm got piles of cardstock and card bases and designer series paper and embellishments all kinds of things piled up and packaged and been working on the tutorials so um, and it's, it's kind of hard when you start working on something and you're that excited and you've been working on it for weeks, but you can't really share because you want it to be a surprise for the people attending the event. But fortunately, we've had so many other wonderful products as well that there's certainly never a lack of things for me to share. Okay, I thought I lost my other penguin, but I found him. A little bit of everything. <laughs> oh, cup of Christmas. I love that. Oh, Leslie, enjoy your dinner. And thanks for joining on. Maybe you can catch the um, rest of this on replay. And I hope you will share some of those creations that you're making. I have not used my cup of Christmas bundle yet. Um, so would love to see what you're making with that. I know some people like to do just one design and they give the same one to everybody every year and others get a little bit bored when they have to make so many and just and they uh, will make several different ones. Okay, let me move some of these ink pads so I don't create a disaster here. And we'll quickly put this card together. Of course, I want to use dimensionals for these cute little guys. How many Christmas cards do you send? I don't send nearly as many as I used to. I think part of it is that I send um, a lot of cards through the year too, so. What do you think, ladies? My penguin's there, is that okay? And I'm gonna use some mini dimensionals. I gotta love these guys, don't you? for the scarves. Oh, maybe I should have made a hat or something for the other guy, but that's all right. I can always do that later. Karen, thank you. I'm glad you think so. The only thing better than sharing what we love to do by Facebook Lives is to share it in person through classes and events. Okay, so what do you think? Okay, and then there's room inside for you to write a quick message and sign your name. Okay, um, the other thing I thought of that I could have used on this is this pretty, pretty ribbon, okay? But I told you I would show you a little variation of this so let's do that now, okay? This time, 
instead of using the acetate for my card base, I'm going to use the Seaside Spray for my card base. So I need a piece that's five and a half by eight and a half, and it's scored at four inches, I'm sorry, four and a quarter on the long side. Okay, so I'm just it's just folded the opposite direction, cut and folded the opposite direction, but it's the same side card base. Okay, oh ladies, I'm glad you love it. Then I'm going to take my acetate and cut a piece for the card front. So let's do this. Four. We'll do four inches. by five and a quarter, which is pretty much a standard um, layer for your card front, okay. So I can do that, okay. And really, I don't worry too much about where I'm putting my adhesive. Um, there's enough print on here that you're, just put it where there, your adhesive where there's a little, you know, print. Not necessarily on those blank spots, but I really don't worry too much about having to hide my adhesive. I think it works out fine. Okay. And this time, maybe I'll um, have my card go in the horizontal direction just to change it up a little bit, because you know I like to do that. Okay. And... I'm going to layer the front a little bit differently too. I'm trying to think, do I want the blue again? I think so. And if you have any thoughts along the way, let me know. I know it can be hard because there is a delay. Um, Pat, thanks for joining me, Pat Ryan. Where are you from, Pat Ryan? So this is three, three and an eighth. So let's cut this down to two and three quarters by four. So it'll be the same. Okay, two and three quarters by four, okay? And then, and I do wanna be sure to add this ribbon, okay? Not sure where yet or how, but I am going to add that ribbon. And then let's see what other sentiments I have in here. Um, I'm going to use the merriest wishes. Okay. And I want to see what the sentiment will look like if I stamp it in Seaside Spray ink on the Seaside Spray cardstock, okay? Hmm, okay, I think it turned out well enough. Just a little bit, a little bit more subtle, right? Okay. And then I'm going to use my third penguin here. Bring back my black ink. Does anybody else have the penguin set, the playful penguins? And where's my white cardstock? on here. Okay. Anybody else have the Playful Penguin stamp set? Sue Ebding, I'm so glad you're on. That reminds me, you have a um, an order, a Stampin' Up! order in Liberty Township at Tammy and Beth's house, ready for pickup when you are ready. Okay. Chrissy Bell, you don't uh, have the Playful Penguins yet. Chrissy is one of my newest, newest stampers, and she is a fantastic stamper. Has caught on to this craft 
very easily, has shared it with many people, um, and is making all kinds of things. So I'm happy to have her on board. Chrissy, I think you should, along with everybody else watching, consider joining my team. You'd get to enjoy a discount on all the things you're buying. And I think you just have so much to offer and to share. You know I'd love each and every one of you on my team, right? And I have to say, I'm, you know, I guess I'm going to say I'm not bragging, but I guess I am bragging. I have a great team of ladies. I really, really do. Um, we just are a fun, caring, kind group. Um, we love to share not only our our projects, um, but we help each other out. If somebody's having a class and their order didn't come on time, we, you know, we help each other by gathering supplies. Um, we like sharing techniques or little, what I like to call, tricks of the trade. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put this little guy on, I think. And I think he could use a red hat. What do you think? Bow tie's cute too, but I think I'm going for the little red hat. Give that a second to dry while I put this on my card front. Any thoughts on how I should use that pretty seaside spray ribbon? Okay, I don't know if, how well you can see this, but it, it is metallic. It has silver metallic in there. I think you can see it pretty well. Of course, some dimensionals to pop up our sweet penguin. I feel bad this penguin's alone, though. I almost feel like he needs another. This card needs another, but we're going with this for now. Okay, and I'll quickly fussy cut the little red hat. You know, and don't think about this penguin. Uh, obviously, I used it for a New Year's card. Um, but, you know, the stamp set isn't just for the holidays. This would be awesome for scrapbook pages, perhaps a ski trip or um, a kid's snow day. That was always a big thing on Ohio when we um, had a snow day and no school. And with my own kids, I always called it the, you know, drop everything and have fun day because that's just what snow days were to me, you know? Oh, this, even this mini is just a wee bit big. But I'm going with it for now, for the sake of time. Okay. Oh, isn't he cute with his little hat? Except I think he needs another dimensional. His head's bobbing around a little too much for me. There. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit of color to these guys. Just like this teeny tiny bit of color. But either way, with or without coloring these little bits, I think is nice. Okay. Thoughts on the ribbon, ladies? Come on, you're not helping me much. I sure, I wish, <laughs> commenting is great, but boy, would it be fun if everybody could, uh, you know, talk as just as if we're in a room. There is a, a way to do that, but um, with a Zoom call, but kind of limited on time and number of people, things like that, to stick with the free version. Oh, thank you for sharing, Carol. I appreciate that. I imagine Sue and Karen Kells will both enjoy that. I hope they enjoy this. Okay. And I think, okay, so here's what I did with my card. The only thing is I think I'm going to pull this bow down 
and over to the left a little bit there I like that a little bit better okay and I think I'm actually gonna put a glue dot there just to hold that bow in place okay so there are two fun easy cards that I created with the mercury mercury glass designer acetate okay you know another thing that would be fun and I don't believe I purchased them um, is we have the um, the sequins with the little snowflakes and things okay oh I love these oh I love these cards awesome okay I said I wanted to show you something else and this requires using my big shot okay and I'm going to be using our new mini curvy keepsake box many of you will remember that um, we had a curvy keepsake box in the past and um, it was it was very popular it was a big hit um, it has been retired for oops sorry it has been retired for a couple of years um, so I'm excited to have this new one back and I have to say it is a good bit smaller but I actually like it smaller for two reasons number one it doesn't make as take as much to fill them and number two um, it uses less paper okay on an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper um, actually you can cut it down to um, five and a half by eleven sheet of cardstock and you can make get two okay and um, this I've cut to five and a half by five and a half and you want to turn it you don't want it straight up and down you just want to turn it at an angle to fit okay and I'm gonna run it through here now I have not used this with the acetate I know that the acetate is thicker so it may need to, ooh, it sounds like it's cutting nicely though doesn't it Joan, yes, if you like the original Kirby Keepsake box, you will love this one. Okay, I want to see how well it cut. Yes. Okay, I ran it back and forth through twice, and it has cut pretty well. There's, so that tells me that I really should have gone through just a little bit more. I've got a couple small spots that... Are hanging on and I could cut them with the scissors but I'm gonna see if I can just roll this back through again okay and when you heard it it sounded like breaking glass that's just cutting through that thick acetate okay it's not hurting your machine it's not hurting your die it's not hurting the acetate it's just cutting it where it's supposed to cut and I shouldn't have done that because I was off a little bit on this one edge, but that's okay. We're going with it for now so I can show you something cool. Oh, I just, okay. I really, <laughs> I was really off on that one edge. Let me just cut it again, because that's me and that's what I do. And if I'm making something for you or anybody else, I want it to be good. So one, two, three, four. And if there's any small spots that didn't cut all the way, I will just trim those with my paper snips, okay? But I think you're going to like what I do with this. So it's gonna be worth it. Now, of course, when it cuts cardstock, it cuts much easier because, um, because it's just paper. And I actually um, made those last week during my team demonstration, I made some little jack-o'-lanterns and then I also made them and put a little candy in them and gave them to the people that um, attended my card classes last week. I should grab those and show you. Or I can just post them to another 
blog post. Okay. So, and like in here, you might put like one, um, what is it? The Ferrero Rocher, one of those candies. Um, what else? Um, a few little mints, two or three little mints, things like that. Okay. Skinny ones are a little tricky getting out of there. Okay, and then it, it creates these four fold lines for you as well. Okay, I'm having a little trouble getting this little skinny one out here. So I'm just going to clip it. Okay, now I want you to think um, like Christmas time, you've got your tree up and it's decorated. Okay. One of my favorite things to do during the holiday season is just um, turn on the Christmas tree with its lights and then turn on some soft music, some soft holiday music, and just sit and enjoy the, the lights and to think and be at peace um, and have some calm time and think about what the season means to me, okay? So, and this is how it goes together. You just grab those, what I call the purse handles, put them together, and then those little slits go over the purse handles. But before you put the other one on, look at this. I've got one of these little battery operated lights. It fits just inside there. Now this one kind of has a yellowish light to it. I don't know if you can buy ones that are a little more, um, shine a little more white light. Um, but think of that, some of these, I don't know if you'll be able to see this if I turn off this light. Can you see that? Okay. And mine flickers a little bit, but I'm thinking, you know, put these out on your table or on your fireplace mantle and um, you could even hang them on your tree. Tie a pretty little... Um, Try to tie a little bow on there, okay? And wouldn't that be pretty? Let's see if I can do this real quick. How are we doing on time? Oh, it's just about an hour. I was going to show you one more thing. One more card with the mercury glass, but I think I will save that for another day. Just because it has been nearly an hour and I know my Facebook lives have been getting a, a little little long and I don't want to um, impose on your time too much I would rather share more often okay now I can see now that it's glowing okay and I'm just gonna trim this off but look at how cute that is. And again, these would be cute hung on your Christmas tree. Cute little um, table favors, okay? So on your next purchase, please consider purchasing the Mercury Glass Acetate Designer Acetate. Mercury Glass Designer Acetate, okay? Um, the other thing I thought of when I saw this, look at this pattern, or er, splotchiness, it's not really a pattern, is it? Um, but this design, I also thought of like the moon, you know, this year we heard a lot about um, Neil Armstrong, the, you know, 50, I believe it was the 50th anniversary of the walk on the moon. Um, and I, I think of that as the moonscape, wouldn't that be fun? Okay. All right, ladies, I bid you good night and I thank you very much for spending some of your Tuesday evening with me. Happy new Stampin' Up! year. Um, it is cute with the light flickering, isn't it, Lisa? I agree, okay? Um, but thank you for being a part of my Stampin' Peace journey and I appreciate you all so much and happy New Year to Stampin' Up! and all of us who love Stampin' Up! Have a great night. I will be back on Thursday at 2 p.m. 
on my Stampin' Peace VIP group, okay? So I hope to catch you there, and I'll have another great um, project or two to show you then. Good night.